Hey guys, it's Second Chance Stables here, and I am here with another video, which is probably why I'm recording this. Yeah, okay, that was weird. But I have decided that I am re- I'm going to make another barn uh, to replace this barn. It's just- it's not that I don't like it, I do like it, I just need more space for more horses because I have more horses than available room, and um- that's getting to be a problem because I can't put them anywhere so yeah so because this only has three stalls and I'm hoping to make one maybe a bit bigger I, I don't really know maybe it'll still be three stalls but um, it's a little crooked as is so I'm just hoping to make another barn that I really like like that one up there because I love that one so yeah so this barn it is probably going to be up in my closet but who knows maybe I'll find somewhere to sneak this in um, so yeah, so I bought all my materials already, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen that, like, whenever I probably saw me with, like, posting a picture about wood, because I'm lame, but, alright, so, um, let's get to work. Okay, so I just have a bunch of wood, so I'll just show you guys what I got. So this is the base, it's basically the same base as everything else I have up here, it's the same base for my border barn not my board my main barn it's the same base i used for my arena and probably for um the marin full barn but it is a bit tinier in that one so this is what i'm going to be using it is from this company all of the wood is from this company right here so if you guys i actually do like this wood and they put all their measurements on here so i know the thickness i know um the width and the length and i just find that incredibly useful so, um, and I also got all this stuff at Michael's, and it's my local craft store, so, yeah. So, what I'm doing is I have these two small pieces, which are base wood, and they're a bit, like, firmer. And this is balsa, which is a bit, like, thinner, I'd say. It's a bit more flexible. So, I got two of each. Um, one for the walls, the exterior walls, and then one for, sort of, the interior, um, interior stall dividers, I guess. Then I got two of these because I'm planning on making it a sliding door um, barn because I don't have one of those. I do have sliding door stalls um, behind these two, um, but those are my pony stalls, but you guys already knew that. So I'm hoping on doing something like that. So um, I decided to give you a walkthrough, so it'll be kind of like a tutorial, but not really. Also, this doesn't really stay on the ground. It's really weird. Okay, I'm gonna try to flatten this out because it's a bit curvy. I don't know why. It is a bit curvy. Oh, but this is burnt plywood. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna figure out what to do with this. And then I'm gonna put my measurements on it. So we should be good. Okay, <clears throat> so sorry for my voice. I've decided to go with four stalls. It's not a big jump from my old barn, but I'm trying to make it look a lot better and a lot more polished. So I'm hoping that all of these will become sliding door stalls. So they're about, I always try to use the biggest horse that I have. So they're about this size, which I would say is pretty good because the horse can make a full circle. Um, and I'm over here, I might put a little area so we, I can stick some of the falabellas in because I always have extra ponies running around that I need to put somewhere. So yeah, um, and the door is probably going to be here. So it'll be a similar layout to my old barn, but hopefully it turns out good. So I'm going to start putting up the walls um, after I paint um, the ground to make it look pretty. Okay, so it looks kind of funky out because it only has one wall up, but that's, that's all right. Um, so I painted the ground. I didn't really paint this um, area because hay is going to be covering it anyway, so I was like, I could use this paint for something else. Um, but yeah, so this is the walkway. Um, I might have a little something going along here for the ponies or the dogs or whatnot to use up this extra space. And I'll put up some things on the other side of the wall for like blankets and halters and saddles and all that. But so far it's coming along pretty well. I'm just gonna get rid of like the hot glue that's like sticking out here. And I'm gonna clean it up a bit and it should look great. And of course add the other walls as well because you know, can't have a barn with only one wall. Okay, so I put this at an angle because it's kind of big and it doesn't really fit on my desk to show you guys. 
Um, so I have all my walls up. What is this red stuff? I don't know. Okay. Uh, it's still there. Okay. <laughs> so I put up all my walls, and I also put a door, because my last one, oh, you can't really see it, but that one no, right there doesn't have a door, and that's been ticking me off. So I was like, okay, the next board I make is definitely going to have a door. So this one has a door. It's made with hinges. Um, so yeah, and it does swing open, and it's supported with that. And then I just put a little, um, I just put popsicle sticks here because, uh, I don't know, to give it more structure, I guess. And it looks better because this side, there were a lot of like shavings on the wood, and I didn't want that to show. Um, so... It's a little off center, which is what I like because it's not completely, the door isn't over here, it's here. So it has like a point where it starts and stops. And I guess over here I could leave something for like halters or whatnot. So I'm gonna move on to getting these stall dividers up and these sliding doors in. So yay. All right, so I got these stall dividers up. Um, this last one here was fighting me the entire way because I put it up crooked at first and I tried to fix it and it just wouldn't stay still, so whatever. Uh, it's up now. Um, and I'm gonna move on to the front of the stalls. And I'm gonna have the sliding door probably from here to here. Um, because I, I feel, I just, I don't know, I just feel more comfortable in that direction, I guess. Who knows? Um, if I've changed my mind, I might, but these dolls are pretty roomy. I will show you an example. Um, they look kind of like wash dolls at the moment, but <laughs> I assure you they're not. Um, so yeah, I still have a ton of stuff to do, Ugh, but hopefully this turns out good. Okay, so I got one um, stall thing in. It's not really a stall divider. It's like the front stall front, I guess. Um, and it just has these little dowels on the inside. This is what it looks like from this side. And this is what it looks like from this side. Um, so I'm actually really happy with how this is turning out. Uh, I might just make a door and just test it out just to see how this doll would look like finished. And then, I don't know, I'd move on from there, I guess. So I still have four more to go. Um, I, it's a lot better than that barn right there because that one had six dolls and it took me forever, but it turned out well, so I was happy. So yeah, so I'm gonna go back to work and catch up with you guys later. All right, so I just finished one stall. I still have three more to go, but it's actually turning out so well and I'm so happy. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, I added the door and this right here is like a tiny dowel that um, this door kind of slides along and it does go all the way there and that's the opening um <clears throat> i know it won't fit some of the really big horses like the really really big like the shire stallion and the Prochon, but it does fit the majority of everyone else and that makes me happy so that's good and it's also big enough to be used as a mare and full stall so i mean i can't really complain so yeah so i just have three more to go and then i can kind of like move down to like the nitty bitty details and get all the little um hay trough hay troughs like food and like water containers in there and maybe put up some um thing over here for the saddles and whatnot and maybe put a little pen for who knows um so i'm gonna try to get the rest of these stalls up and i'll just go from there hey guys so i just finished making all four of these stalls and it took forever and my back is seriously cramping but i think it turned out so well and i'm so happy so this is what it looks like um all the new slides shut yes made sure so there's four stalls they are very roomy um i am probably oh i'm watching criminal minds right now so give me one second okay but um I'm planning on putting maybe a little food, what am I saying, like a food trough, like a place where you put food, <laughs> I can't talk, I'm like really tired, get in here and maybe um, put a chain in the back too, to make it more um, lifelike I guess, and uh, this is when I'm going to start going into the details, so adding like cross ties, adding um, little like hinges on all of them to sort of make it look really pretty, so yeah. Hey guys! So I just, I mean, I finished it this morning, um, and I put in all the hay and whatnot, and I have little hooks up here, um, and cross ties, so I have one set of cross ties here, 
and one set of cross ties here as well as a place for like saddles and whatnot so yeah so this is how it turned out i hope you guys love it because i love it um and i will have a barn tour up soon so talk to you guys later bye